Good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ilona. I'm also known as Core Transformations. I'm an online coach, a personal trainer and a bodybuilder. And today we're going to react to Anne Boleyn's latest video called Weigh In. Be honest with your audience. I wonder who that's for. Maybe it's for herself. One can only guess. And um, there's something else I do need to address because this morning when I wake up, several people had DM'd me to tell me that a certain classomaniac cannot help but put my name in their mouths. I can only guess that this is for attention, to get some sort of notoriety, to get some sort of infamy, some sort of fame, because, well, numbers speak for themselves, right? Let me address this, just quickly. I will not name their names, because a bit like mass shooters, people that want that sort of recognition, the best way to starve them from the attention they desire so badly is not give it to them. If you're gonna insult somebody and all you can do is come up with very rudimentary and derogatory terms, it shows your level of intelligence or your lack thereof. It's also very interesting to note how this person seems to mostly attack women. And if somebody disagrees or has an opinion that varies, that is different from theirs, they go on the attack and just call women all kinds of names. Why is it women? Is this the only way you can feel some sort of security in your manhood? But do not confuse me with any woman. I'm not just any woman. I'm an alpha female. I do not get intimidated by physically weaker men. Also, I am not going to address this any further because I do not see the point of having back and forths because I have a life, I don't really care what goes on on the internet, I actually don't really care what people say about me. But I just thought I'd nip this in the butt whilst it's going on, because people will come to me and ask for it. I've said my piece. I personally do not spend that much time online once I've done what I needed to do in terms of filming. I know that some people, they need to sort of validate their existence by being Twitter badasses, by inserting themselves into drama that doesn't concern them, by fighting for other people on their behalf. Now, fine, if you want to do that, great. I like to spend time with my family. I suggest you do the same. I'm sure they miss you. I know you have probably got something to say because you always have something to say. You always need to have the last word. I'm gonna ignore it. Don't bother sliding into my DMs because I'll just ignore you again. I'm going to ignore any videos you make about me because, frankly, you're not worthy of my time. Now, that's out of the way. Let's get into the video. Hey guys, so I wanted to talk about my weight. I want it to be and kind of like how I've been doing and things like that. So I want to start off with saying that, yes, I am in the 400s and a lot of people have thought that I wasn't telling the truth regarding that because I didn't physically step on the scale. I think she has lost weight. I can tell that she's lost weight. I can tell by her face. I don't think she has been doing as good lately as what she has done in the past. And I think the reason why she has purposely not been weighing herself is to troll people. I think that's why. She, know, she knows what she needs to say in order to get backlash, in order to get uh, people to talk about her, and that's fine. I mean, that's her gig, that's fine. I knew that, I figured after I filmed the video a few weeks, like a little while ago, when she was saying about being under, being at a certain weight, I figured that she said it, she didn't show away on purpose because she knew it was gonna cause people to be an uproar and be like, step on the scale, step on the scale. And I knew, she, I figured she was holding it back just so she can go like, well, see, there you go, I'm not lying, you know? I think she's kind of playing into the negative feedback that she is getting online. And I was I was blind to it, as I was blind to many things. But I can see now, and I see Amber now. So I think it's quite quite funny. I think it's funny to see people getting riled up, even though I don't watch other I don't watch other people that make content about her because I don't really feel like a lot of them have anything to say that I that I can echo with because of the fact that I come at things from a health and fitness perspective and well well, leave it at that. And I guess I understand where you're coming from because at first I thought people were just like saying I was lying for whatever reason, but then I noticed a lot of people were saying, how come you're not celebrating, you know? And they were putting themselves in my shoes and saying, you know, if I were you, I would have had a celebratory video and I would have been super excited to share that. And I would have filmed a reaction, like a reaction to me stepping on the scale and finally reaching that because that was my goal. My goal was to be in the 400s. And a lot of people are just like, 
you're not acting like you actually are and I don't believe you. So I do get that. And I did have a lot of people congratulating me, so thank you. And I think the biggest reason why, honestly, I didn't make a whole video regarding it is because I kind of feel numb to it, to be honest. And it's been happening a lot lately, like where I set a goal for myself, I reach it, and I'm kind of numb to it. And I've always been expecting this big pivotal moment and I don't ever get that, honestly. I don't ever I think because she has such a long way to go still, it must be I mean I think because she has such a long way to go still, it's almost I won't say it's pointless because it's good. Like I think it's very I'm very happy for her that she's under the five hundred pounds. I do want to see her do well. Um I think she can do things a lot better, but she's gonna do whatever she wants to do. She's proven that by now. But yeah, I can imagine, like, sometimes you do become blind, blind to what you're doing. For example, if I'm prepping, I I can be super lean, as in sitting down, like, veins running across my legs, and I'll look in the mirror, and I'll see myself as fat. You become, you become quite body dysmorphic, you become, your view of yourself becomes warped, and it's only in hindsight, when you look back on what you've lost, that you can go, or what you've gained, or whatever whatever change you're making to your body physically, it's only in hindsight that you can go like, oh wow, I actually looked like that before. And you don't necessarily realize it until you take a step back. And I, even though I can see with her that she has lost weight, it's on her frame, it's, it's not that impactful because she has so much to lose still. And I think maybe that's why she cannot recognize it herself or she's not that excited by it. I don't know. That's just me hypothesizing though. Get this huge, magnificent rush of excitement and I am proud. I am proud of myself. This has been a journey I didn't really know that I was going to go on because I always start journeys and I always fail. Somehow I always fail. The journey has not been perfect and I think that's also a big part of the reason why I wanted to film this video is because it seems like a lot of the time when I do a weigh-in video it's because like I'm down my weight and all this stuff and I have like good news. I don't want that just to be how it is. I do know that there are, I'm not going to say who, there is a weight loss channel. They only weigh in when they know they're down weight. And I don't want that to be me. I want to show my ups. I want to show my downs. And I feel like every single part of that is super important. I don't want to just weigh in when I'm down a certain amount of weight. I want to weigh in and show you guys that this journey. And I'm sure a lot of you already know that because I could be down a lot more weight than I'm already at. I just feel like if you plan on having your weight loss journey on YouTube, you need to be transparent. You need to talk. Hmm, I agree with her there. I do agree with her there. This is why, despite me being critical of these women, I do try and be I do try and be constructive. I have definitely cut down the nitpicking. When the Sovereign posted her first video, um when the Sovereign posted her first video about Hater Nation, I actually left a comment. I recognised what she said about being nitpicky, and since then I've taken a step back. In fact, here, here's the receipt of me saying that two months ago. So since then I've stopped doing a lot of things because sometimes you get sort of sucked into this negative vicious cycle and you don't realize what's going on until you take a step back from it and it was her video as well as discovering Le Kiwi Farms and like lurking there sometimes I went like, do you know what? I don't want to be a part of this. I, I want to provide advice because I actually care about health and fitness. Whether or not these women are going to take it, I don't know. Probably not. However, my message does reach a lot of people and people come to me on a regular basis saying that my advice in terms of how you can live a healthier lifestyle, it's helping them. They're losing weight, they're applying the changes, they're changing their mindset. That's what I want to do. I want to help people out because one thing everybody can do is like everybody can become physically and mentally stronger. It's harder for some, granted, but it is something we can all achieve. We can all achieve mental fortitude. We can all go out and test ourselves physically and mentally. So that's more the message that I'm trying to spread as opposed to just sitting here and critiquing, critiquing, critiquing Amber or anybody else for that matter on their hair. I have done. I know I have done. I have been petty, but I've stopped it because it, it takes away from the points that I'm trying to make and I can recognize that I'm not beyond looking at myself and realizing the mistakes I've made and making improvements. The ups and the downs. No reason to fib, no reason to beat around the bush, just be honest. And in the past, I I thought of, I thought of uh, Swiss cheese. I, I couldn't say the words Swiss cheese. It's a tongue tie for me. 
Um, it's like the cheese is the whole story, the truth, the ups, the downs, and everything else. But then I choose to only share little bits and parts of it, which is like the holes where I'm poking out. And I still have this whole other story to tell you guys. Is she trolling here? This must be a troll, right? This must be a, a class. This must be an amber troll because she made no sense what she was just saying here with the cheese in our holes. <laughs> and with this journey, it's been so different because I do share a lot more and I let you guys know that I could be doing better. I let you guys know that I do still overeat and I st still let my addiction and my binging get to me. Those things are still a part of this journey. So I think that's important. And I really wish that if there is anyone watching me who does have a weight loss channel, if they'll just be more transparent with their audience and don't just wait for, oh, I want to be down a certain amount of weight to prove myself. Just be yourself. And it took me a long time to get to that, honestly. I'm going to be honest. I agree. I think being honest is really important. It's something that I pride myself on quite a lot. I do have a lot of integrity. I am really honest to a point where some people say, I've had comments before, like from family, from people in my personal life, uh, from even from in my comment section when people ask about, for example, I'm a bodybuilder, substance abuse, substance use, I should say. I've never abused substances, but substance use. I've never denied it. I have never denied it. But there's been, without going into it, if you're into the sport and you understand it, taking something for a few weeks in the run up to a show is not compared, it's not going to be the, the result of what you're seeing. This is the, what you're seeing is seven years of hard work, seven years of dieting, seven years of training, seven years of blood, sweat and tears. Yes, I am sometimes a bit honest to a fault, but I'd rather be that so people know what they're getting than pretend to be something that I'm not, which... I think it's a problem in YouTube, with YouTube in general. So many people just try and pretend to, to be this sort of inspiration, to try and pretend to, to be this sort of virtuous person, when none of them are. Just be yourself. Now, I was... I perhaps withheld some of my thoughts, but no longer. No longer. Because I always felt like I had to prove something. So, what I want to share with you guys is my lowest in this journey has been 498.0 and I do I do wish I could have filmed that and had that pivotal moment on here for myself and so I can go back and watch it but I just for some reason I didn't feel the need to and I was kind of numb to it so today I did step on the scale and I'm actually gonna put that right here so as you can see I am actually up from the 498.0, which that was my weight three days ago. You guys are seeing this a little late because I am a little behind on my videos because I have been filming a lot, so I do apologize. But it was a few days ago that I reached 498.0. And I'm gonna be, I'm here to be, you know, transparent. I'm here to share all of the Swiss cheese, honey. We're not gonna have any holes. I'm just gonna give you guys the whole slab of cheese. <laughs> so last night, oh, embarrassing. Um, I had a pint of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Ben and Jerry's is so high in calories. My fiance, I've said it, I've said it like in 10 videos already, but I just can't get over the calories in it. Because I do have a fit your macros, I can basically eat what I want as long as it fits my macros and my calorie allowance. I had literally a few teaspoons, a few tablespoons, sorry, of Ben and Jerry's, like a quarter of a pint, not even that, not even that, like tablespoons, like, like half a cup, something like that, like half a cup of Ben and Jerry's, because I just wanted to try some. I looked up the calories, it was so much. I I don't often get food guilt anymore. I used to, you know, if you're new, I used to have eating disorders. So I used to, for many years, 15 years, pretty much. So I, I can relate to having food problems. I've been there and nothing really gives me food guilt anymore. And I, that didn't really, but afterwards I was just like, Jesus Christ, what a waste of calories. If I had known that, I, I wouldn't have eaten it because those few tablespoons of ice cream were not worth basically a third or a quarter of my daily intake in calories, that's for sure. It was the mint cookie or something like that and I had hot Cheetos. I did not have a whole bag of hot Cheetos. That's a very pivotal moment in this story because in the past I would have the whole bag of hot Cheetos and I'm talking about the biggest bag of hot Cheetos that there is. Well, I think there is a size bigger, but the size that I get is like a pretty big size and through one night I would eat the whole thing. It would be in three different time frames. Like I'd eat a good chunk of it and then like an hour later I'd eat more and then an hour later I'd finish it. And those were times where I could not control myself at all in the slightest. And last night I told myself, yes, I am going to eat this Ben and Jerry's. I had it. So the one thing that I am noticing 
what I find it interesting, but like this is something that people can maybe help me out with because I'm quite unknown to whole binge eating disorder. I'm coming from it from I've I've heard this I've had, I've posed this question before, but I'm I'm coming from a, a perspective of somebody that has had bulimia, right? So for me, a binge was it didn't I didn't plan really binges. Maybe some do, but I never did. It just happened. It would be like I'd walk down the supermarket and I'd see foods that I knew I could get rid of easily certain foods you know you can get rid of easily it's really it's messed up what it does to your head in terms of like anyway let's not go into detail of that and i would just suddenly buy it all or i'd start eating something that wasn't like on my plan and then i would be like ah oh, whatever and then just eat loads more and then i'd feel guilty and do whatever i needed to do to get rid of that it does seem like what i'm finding with her compared to chantelle is that she seems to be more impulsive in her eating as in it just happens she'll eat and she can't stop whereas with chantelle it seems so premeditated and i'm not saying they don't have problems with eating they clearly do you wouldn't be super morbidly obese if you don't have a problem with eating but where how they both have binge eating disorder supposedly um but they're so different and i think that's interesting because should a binge not be like spontaneous rather than planned i don't know is that me i don't know maybe i'm maybe there is just like with many things so you get different levels different varieties of it but i just i just heard talking about this just made me think about that that's all i knew that's what i was going to do and when i have the hot cheetos i am so used to eating the whole bag but i told myself i'm not gonna do it this time you know i had the pint of ben and jerry's did i need it no do i regret it a little bit but i knew what i was doing in the moment and usually in a binge my brain is not there i don't know what i'm doing i am like possessed if you binge you understand how it feels but i was there in the moment i i knew what was happening and i was able to tell myself i cannot eat this whole bag of chips so i woke up the next morning and i was very upset with myself i thoroughly thought that i gained all my weight back it was this weird mental moment that i i don't know what she's gonna say here uh regardless whether or not she gained any weight i uh, hope i know she's probably thinking she did i'm guessing she's gonna say that she probably had didn't she felt some relief or something true but this is a for her is a pitfall she shouldn't hmm, how am i going about saying that basically if you can get away with binging once when you shouldn't and you didn't get any weight it's almost like a pass it's an okay sign for you to go ahead and do it next time and next time you can eat more because next time maybe you still won't go any weight or not as much as you expected does that make sense so people can say like don't do guilt guard you don't feel guilty about it move onward i get that i get that to a degree you also have to be accountable for your actions though if you mess up be accountable for that but at the same time I hope she's not seeing this as some sort of pass because she didn't gain as much weight as she thought she would. But I don't know if that's what she's going to say. I'm just anticipating what she's saying. Here. I want to remember that moment. I woke up feeling so crappy about the choice that I had made because it was a choice. I chose to do that. That I had this moment where I was like, I probably just gained back all of my weight. And it was like a second thought. And it was so stupid because obviously that's physically impossible to do. And I was just so upset, honestly. So I stepped on the scale, but prior to, I honestly was like, let's be realistic. I probably gained five pounds and I'm back in the 500s. And for some reason it's pivotal for me not to ever, ever step on the scale again and have there be a five in the front. Never again, never again. And so I was scared. And you guys, I'm trying to like not pause at awkward times here, but it's hard. It's really hard. I did see the video of her doing the live weigh. I did see the snippets of her doing a live weigh in. Go Kate Winslet, and bringing the receipts. <laughs> but um, yeah, I did see that video and obviously she was over 500, but people can wait during the day. So I don't know, I'm sure I can already see the videos coming. She just stepped on a scale here. Her weight is gonna fluctuate. I guess in the daytime, fast that she probably is under 500. In the day, she gains a few pounds. I gain several pounds in the day as well. It's 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 normal. It's normal. I don't know when that video was filmed, the live stream, um, or what time of day, but I assume it was nighttime. So yeah, you you, you can hold between five to ten pounds. It's possible of water, food, anything in the body. <laughs> I did step on the scale. There was still a four in the front. 
it put me in two scenarios the old Amberlynn which she's still in there <laughs> like I'm not a completely different person the old Amberlynn let's just say the devil on the shoulder and there's an angel on this one the devil was saying things like oh look at that you were able to eat a whole Ben and Jerry's and you're still in the 400s so it looks like you can do that more often justifying what I did then the angel on this side was saying remember how you woke up and you felt like crap let's not do that again let's not wake up feeling guilty you gained weight whether it was just a pound and like four ounces or no 1.4 sorry it's not ounces um whether it was 1.4 or 1.6 i'm not sure how much you still gained weight and you do not want to do that again you want to continue going on the scale you don't mind seeing fluctuations but you don't want to see a fluctuation that you truly caused on yourself so i was going back and forth between the two so i think it's good that she's able to di differentiate between her negative and her positive thoughts it is something you're always going to deal with trust me anybody that's on a weight loss journey weight gain journey you're going to be hungry you're going to do things you regret and you're going to have to just power through this is overcoming obstacles like this this is where she grows this is where she gets stronger and she needs to feed into the feelings of how she felt before she did it what the binging how it made her feel thinking back on like the results she's had how easily it is how easy it is to undo that yeah, I think this is good. I mean, I think there is this is more progress than we've seen from her for a long time. And people will say there's no progress, this and this. I can see progress. I can at the end of the day. I think she lose weight. She seems to be um, she seems to be a lot more aware of her thought processes. And yeah, maybe she's playing this up. She is a troll after her. But after all, but as long as she's doing a good job or she is at least achieving some success, why should I knock that? I'm not gonna sit here and shit on her for no reason. And it's just it's really important. But I share these things and I want to motivate other weight loss channels to do the same thing. I am, I look up to people and I want them to be honest with their audience as well. It's very important that I feel like when you keep things from the audience, you're also being delusional within yourself because you also don't want to admit it to yourself. So when you don't admit things and you're not open up with your audience and the point of your channel is to do weight loss videos, I feel like you're also not being honest with yourself, even if it's not on purpose. I wonder who that's for. And I know a lot of people are going to watch this and be like, Amberlynn, like, this is none of your business. People can post videos of what they want. I get that. It's just like... It's just like she gets a lot of people that provide critique towards her and they're all on weight loss journeys, but none of them seem to be succeeding themselves. I think of myself in the past and I'm starting to see the same behaviors in other people that I did look up to or I used to look up to. And I don't... I don't want to see those behaviors because I remember being that person. So I know what is happening happening behind the camera. You know, us morbidly obese people, we all got big for one reason. Too much food. We all have begged our partners for food that we shouldn't have had. These are all things that we have done. We have all been delusional. We have all shared only half the story. This is part of all of our stories. And I feel like that's why we're all similar in that way. And it's just like, if you gain weight, show it. If you're only down one pound in two weeks, sport it. It's okay. Be proud of the pound. You know, I just, it's important that I do the same thing. It's like, I'm not just talking to other people and I'm not giving advice to other people. I'm also doing it to myself. It's important that I share the small victories, the big victories, but also the downfalls. And I will continue to do that on this channel. And I will definitely be posting more weigh-ins no matter what happens. Um, and I just want other people to do the same. So anyways, I am literally ranting at this point, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope that the next video I share with you guys regarding my weight Will be some good news. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next one. Bye. I think Amberlynn has a fair point in what she's saying. Um, I think transparency is very important. I think if you set up to go on some sort of journey and then you never follow up with it, it does make you look bad. You can't deny that it does. I speak only for myself here but i show what i eat i show my training i vlog all the time because i don't want people to think of me as being a hypocrite because i'm not i practice what i preach i love fitness i love health i don't just say it for clicks and likes now i actually miss the gym for me to not train from somebody who went training to a gym every single day pretty much to not train it's not nice but i don't complain about it because it's a first world problem I make things work. You complain about not having a gym? You can make things work at home. Is it going to be as good? No. But if there's a will, there is a way. You can do push-ups. You can do, I don't know, like walking lunges. There's way to exercise. Um, don't just do those things. You do more than that. But there's more to, there's so much you can do if you're really desperate to have success. Now, Amber can do a lot better. She absolutely can. 
she, what she's doing is not really good enough but at least she is maintaining her weight she's gradually the downward trend is there could it be faster yeah she could lose weight a lot quicker when i get ready for a show i lose up to like 20 pounds and there's not a lot of me anyway like i walk around with abs all year round so i'm a lean person you know you can tell the muscle separation the definition is there tranny i can see it already it's all right i don't mind people calling me a tranny i think it's funny to you if to, if i can if i have to lose and if i can lose up to like 20 pounds in a few months by sheer diet and hard work people other people can do the same thing with less effort so yeah anyway guys i hope you've enjoyed i am going to upload this video i'm going to do some vlogging today i'm going to do some training today i have some chores to get on with i've got busy day ahead all my days are normally busy on that note i hope you enjoyed this video comment like subscribe if you want if you don't want it that's fine as well and i will see you in the next one ciao